Good Friday morning, everyone. Today is the 20th of March. It's around uh, 5.58 a.m., so uh, starting a little early. So I just want to start things a little differently on what is a recession, okay? And this, everything I do, like I say, is free. All the websites, you know, I try and keep it for everybody so they could just go on and mimic whatever I do. They don't need to pay monies. They're not going to be asked to subscribe for anything. And uh, I just find that's the way to do things best, okay? So what is a recession? Because you hear all this talk about a recession, a recession. We're in a recession, okay? Now, I come from, you know, I studied in the late 90s um, and graduated in uh, the two, or like 2002, okay? So uh, in that time, you know, I know now, you know, things are a little different. But here's what a recession is, okay? The term significant decline in general economic activity in a designated region has been typically recognized as two consecutive quarters of economic decline as reflected by GDP in conjunction with monthly indicators like a rise in unemployment. However, the National Bureau of Economic Research, which officially declares recessions, says the two consecutive quarters of decline in real GDP are not how it is defined anymore, okay? Why isn't it defined like that anymore? When was this updated? Updated March 12th, 2020, okay? So I don't know if politics is playing a role in this. I don't know if people just wanna scare people, which seems like it is what's going on, okay? But train of thought, two consecutive quarters, okay? So six months of negative GDP, period. That's it. That's unedited. This was just edited March 12th, 2020, okay? So take it how you want it. I'm not saying we're not in one. I'm not saying we're out of one. I'm not saying anything, you know? Just want to provide some information for you, okay? So just take a look at that and understand what a recession really means in economics. And I study economics, okay? So there you have it, people. Just wanted to give that. And one other thing I wanted to touch on, we're going to just look at coronavirus a little earlier today, okay? So California overnight uh, yesterday declared, like, I guess, more of a state of emergency. People should stay at home, which they could leave. It's not really like a shelter in place, and uh, they don't have, I don't believe you're going to see, like, the National Guard and uh, things come to your blocks and rope it off. But Here's the thing that gets me, okay? Uh, the governor of California says we're going to have 40 million people infected. 40 million people, okay? Now just think about that for a second, people, because I know you guys are going to be a lot smarter than, uh, you know, people playing politics or just trying to scare people, okay? I don't know which one it is, but this is the thing, okay? So China has a population over a billion, right? And I'm sure you'd agree. Just Google it, you'll see. Over a billion. So China had the worst outbreak, and this is where it started in Wuhan, okay? We don't know if it was a biological weapon or really started in a wet market. I don't know. I don't care. All I know is it came about. Now we have to defeat it, okay? And uh, so one billion population, okay? Let's just say that. So total confirmed cases is 244,000, okay? 244,000. So when you look at California which doesn't have a billion people in population. The U.S. doesn't even have a billion people in population, okay? So how are you getting 40 million people infected, okay? I don't see it. It's just scare tactics, people. Just scare tactics. Don't get scared. People, I don't know why they're preaching and hoping for doom and gloom. That's why I don't know if politics plays a part in it, but you gotta understand, too, another thing. The stock market looks forward. It's a, lead, it's a forward leading economic indicator, okay? So everything happens first in the stock market, okay? So we already seen doom and gloom. The Dow retraced significantly, okay? And I see people, you know, they make guess, oh, the futures are up, futures are down. You know, and these people are looking at futures at like three, four hours after the market closed. Let me tell you, that is garbage. Don't do that. Day closes at four. If you're not trading after hours, don't look at the futures till the next morning, okay? Because it's gonna lie to you. It's usually not accurate, okay? Uh, I just don't understand why people just put more time in research and worrying and thinking they're right or wrong, calm their fears, calm their beliefs. I don't know. But 
just, you don't look at futures that early, okay? It's just too soon. The market's just closed, you know? If you had a big day, of course, it's going to come in a little bit. <laughs> you know, if you had a big sell-off, they might bump up a little bit. You know, you have to wait till other markets open. Asia, Europe, look at how they perform. Then our futures are going to do what uh, our news is based on, too. But those are just indicators I've been trained to look at from big boys in the industry, okay? Not people just watching videos on YouTube and you know think they know things because they run uh, maybe like Robin Hood um, you know the little groups and stuff you know and these are all rookies I believe in my eyes you know unless they went and they worked and they got paid and they made millions of dollars in the industry in the business uh, and they retired you know it means nothing so um, you know just pay no attention to any of these predictions because they're usually false they're wrong and they're gonna lose you money all right so uh, now let's get back to business um, so deaths, you know, we hit uh, 10,000, uh, you know, total recovered 86,000. So look, no cure, nothing. 86,000 is covered, okay? So back to business. So a uh, day yesterday, let's just go here because uh, I did say in an earlier video, you know, the bulls and bears are going to battle. You know, I just felt that was going to happen now. And now when that happened, you know, people are saying a bull trap. How do you get a bull trap when a Dow gave up so much and the Dow's only up like 300 points at best? That's a bull trap, people? That is not a bull trap. That is not a bull trap. Do not believe that BS, okay? Not a bull trap. So, um, <laughs> it's just funny to see that. So, uh, you know, here, here's what the markets did yesterday. The NASDAQ had a phenomenal day compared to the rest of them. You know, so if anything, you would say the NASDAQ did a bull trap, and I wouldn't consider 160 points a bull trap. That's not a bull trap, okay? If anything, that's a relief rally. <laughs> a relief rally. People, get your terminology correct. Relief rally, not bull trap, okay? And if people say bull trap, unfollow them. They don't know what they're talking about. So, that is the markets at hand. So, gold, you know, doing very well right now, you know, but very well, 2%. Oil doing really well. That's phenomenal compared to gold. All right. So gold is not really acting like it should. Gold is acting more with the markets. Markets move. Gold is moving. Gold is going down. You know, these are different times now. So gold's just not your flight to safety. It's not. Your T-VIX, your VIX, and your inverse ETFs and ETNs. That's your flight to safety. And, uh, you know, that's just how you have to look at things. So let's take a look at Asia. Move and higher across the board. Beautiful. You know, except for the Nikkei 225. Let's look at Europe. Beautiful. Beautiful gains. Beautiful gains. And remember, the stock market is looking forward, not behind. So they're looking forward. So you had a big correction across the board for a lot of world markets. Not saying we're out of it yet. Because, uh, you know, there's going to be some more battling. But keep this in mind. The last time we had two consecutive back-to-back -back gains in the Dow was February 5th and February 6th. Okay? So if we could do that again today day possibly and close in the green which I think we will okay and today is gonna be something that you would say is a bull trap okay now is it a bull trap no one knows you can't say it because you don't know and if you're saying that you're full of shit okay because you don't know so you can't say that so um we looked at Asia so yeah you know I don't really talk about Forex I could trade them you know I don't really even trade those you know, so here's your rates again, you know, so you have that. And here's your futures popping, beautiful, 900, 102, 355, you know, and that is good. Good day, people. We're going to have a nice day today. Uh, here's gold, you know, look at that. Silver going. So uh, that's that for you. Let's take a look at earnings, get this video moving along. Uh, so, uh, this is it. So, we got Tiffany's. So, that's a big one, retailer. So, mm, you know. You know, and here's the thing. A lot of the people that would shop at Tiffany, you know, they shop online now. You know, if they're not going into a store, they're buying the products online. You know, so when you see all oh, doom and gloom, yes, the layoffs are coming. Um, but the layoffs are really in the services industry, okay? So, there's really a few industries, travel as well. So, you know, you just got to understand the information that people are trying to feed you and you know just use your head a little bit that's all you know I mean these are great markets this is the time you make great moves because you have a lot of volatility and that's what people want when they're trading markets so um, you know this is everything like day it's a Friday doubt we'll have anything yeah you got this 
After hours, so yeah. All right, so yeah, and that's it. After hours, and uh, so we already did Corona. So let's look at Bitcoin. All right, now uh, this is getting a little exciting today. So here's your risk on trade, people. You got Binance Coin, you got Ethereum, you got EOS, but Bitcoin. Look at that. You know, there's risk on people. up and uh, let's just see how Bitcoin is doing overnight you know so um, you, know, here you got it people looking good looking very good okay so uh, you know just an indication of the stock market you're gonna have today okay and world markets risk on go to coin detective real quick just show you you know here's all your risk on money pouring in once again, here's your Dow Jones, Bitcoin. What happens when your Dow Jones and your NASDAQ is up? All these babies are going up. Look at that. 28%, 37%, 18 20 respectively. You know, they're all going to be flying. Okay? Just flying. Just get this moving a little faster, but... There you go. Look at all that. See, and here's your risk on. Today you have money flying. People want to invest. They're tired of losses. Oh, they don't know how to short and use inverse ETNs, ETFs, which is fine. You know, but here's where, uh, you know, risk on, people. Risk on. And we'll just go to my favorites over here. The Mimbo Wimbo protocol from Harry Potter. Here's our grin. What we got up 19%, beautiful. Beam up 26%, beautiful. You know, and these are good buys. You know, you want to double some money? I think these are good to go. And then the other one, let's go over here to Link. Link is gonna do very well too. So uh, you want to see another double? Chain link right here, 250. You know, you can see that one go higher. Yeah, 21%, it's good, but it's a good one. You see it double before Bitcoin doubles, along with Beam and a lot of the others. All right, moving along. So Yahoo, now this is free, Yahoo Finance. I used to use this many, like in the 90s, <laughs> you know, and it's still around, unlike AOL and others. But um, here you got Yahoo Finance free. Go to it. They got beautiful charts, great information. Go to it. I think you'll enjoy it. And it's free. They're not going to ask you to subscribe to anything. They're not going to take money. They don't care if you give them an email or you sign up with them. They just don't care. But they provide you with info. So here you got it, people. So, oops, I, I don't want to go like that. So, all right. So, like, uh, here's your futures, you know. So, you know, here after the market, everybody's looking, boom, it was going down, 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 down. Everyone's getting excited, excited, and, and you know, ooh, what's happening? Ooh, not looking too good, people. You know, ooh, what's that? Ah, not looking so good for you people. You know, if you guys were anticipating, you know, all this right here, you know, going down and down and down. Too soon, people. That's what I tell you. Too soon. Market's closed. Take a break. Take a walk. If you're in like a lockdown, have fun. Go outside. Breathe some fresh air. Why are you looking at this? Don't look at it. It means nothing means nothing don't look at it okay so let's go to your s p minis right here you know so yeah, we'll go over so you know hey you're looking back here you know you're probably getting all excited yay yay you know we were right it was a bull trap well you were wrong because look at what it did in the morning early morning hours so it wasn't a bull trap just yet people all right, now CNBC. So uh, let's just get our quote so we know it's gonna be taking a shit today. Where's that T-Vix? Let's just uh, see this. There you go. So hope no one was in this overnight. And if you were, then hopefully you were in under 520. Okay, but you know, if people are trading, they probably aren't. They're in higher, so you might be down, you know. And, uh, you know, this thing moves very rapidly, you know. It could be down, you know, another 100 points today by the end of the day. You know, we get a good day, this is going to be down 200 and change. You know, it'll be under 400 
and being a full range could touch 397 you know so just be careful with this people then we'll just give you the single version of it the VIX and this is what I tell you about people you could control a little better you know if you don't have a big risk appetite you know this is just a single and it'll, it'll trade and uh, you know down eight percent all right so now let's get into some stocks let's look at Tesla that's a sign of strength usually volatility people like it momentum so there you got it up six percent let's get a uh, square I like square Jack Dorsey does a lot with that uh, Bitcoin and moving forward and I do like Bitcoin you know but I just can't be bullish all the time I'm not a pumper like Pompolino and all these other people Andrea Andros or whatever his name is I see him on Twitter you know these people just bull 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 well if they're not making your money in the bear market when it's coming down and they're still a bull you have to unfollow them people so square looking good you know you're gonna do well in here as well Twitter you know people don't stop tweeting in a recession <laughs> you know so uh, there you got it people you know Twitter doing fine you know just moving with the markets Dollar Tree not trading yet I don't think right yeah no so uh, you know but there's your market you know it's going you know it's gonna go well yeah okay Planet Fitness this is another one you know good 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 you know so that looks good to me now Nvidia I was supposed to sell this yesterday I did take a position under uh, 200 yeah I got in around uh, 197 uh, 196 and change so I just round it higher to 197 and I was gonna sell it yesterday but when I saw the action just intuition told me got a feeling we're gonna go higher and I'm gonna get a higher price for it so most likely today's the day I wash my hands Monday is a new week and I'll take the market at hand at that point so uh, lucky I listened to my intuition didn't sell it and believe me I had my fidelity screen up and I had my Schwab screen up and I was getting ready to liquidate across in both accounts you know and I had my hand on the trigger and I'm just watching the close and I'm just thinking like you know that was about a hundred that's not bullish it's not bearish but if anything it's telling me money wants to come in more so the next day and uh, you know look it did okay so lucky I didn't sell it now I'm making more money so, you know now I'm gonna sell it around the two thirties maybe higher hopefully it goes even more and I'll have even better profits Wow beautiful intuition baby that's why I was an institutional trader for over a decade okay <laughs> so uh, you know I just knew how to trade so uh, here's AMD gonna do well all right now here's uh, the three new ones I gave early in the week this is uh, Lake Lakeland Industries so you know and this is the one that makes all those hazmat suits protective clothing so uh, you know good you know if you are really you know looking for something you know I'm not telling you buy it sell it you know I just provide some information that's all do what you want with it but you know it looks good to me you know do your own due diligence you always have to do it okay but um, you know that's just one I wanted to share with people in this time let's go to go so here we have the grocery outlet one and they did about uh, 30 new stores last year grocery sold out people want toilet paper food meats and there you have it you know so um, you know down yesterday you know today I'm sure it'll bounce but I do believe this one's gonna do so well as they do earnings okay like I said earnings is gonna come out they're gonna be weak for some companies to travel you know technology I don't think you're gonna see weak I don't think Millennials they were all on uh, the beach in Florida they stopped spending money are they not buying a Android or a Apple phone are they not spent you know they're contributing you know and be believe me people who are at home and unaffected and uh, lawyers professionals you know whatever they may be uh, builders you know they buy stuff still they're not stopping you know they're home they're probably spending more money now maybe they're not watching Netflix like everybody believe in ordering Domino's pizza and playing Activision video games maybe they're going to Tiffany maybe they're buying stuff on Apple maybe they're buying Bose radios maybe they're shopping sacks maybe they're you know they're contributing okay I got a feeling they're buying stuff so don't believe all this recession bullshit okay 
So there's that one, and then uh, what was the other one? IIPR. And this was a little REIT with a good dividend yield, and they provide the, you know, real estate funding and properties for uh, the cannabis industry, okay? So if people looking for dividends, you know, here's one I just wanted to give, you know, and these are the three I gave. I'm not going to be giving recommendations all the time because I can't, you know, it's just not what I want to do. But, um, you know, people have to just take my information and do their own research. You know, you want to ask me questions, I got the email, you know, I'm glad to help. But, you know, I really, I, I don't do that, this anymore. So, you know, I'm just trying to give back to everybody, provide some insight, help them out. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions. And I will show what I'm doing and stocks I like. You know, and then it's up to you, you know, what you want to do. You know, so here, you know, moved very nice yesterday. You got an 11% day. The dividend yield, you know, is going to remain the same. But as the price goes up, the yield goes lower. Okay, so just understand that as well. So uh, that's that right there. You know, so good things. And I think you're going to have a great day today. So it will be profitable for most people, I would imagine. And it's about 6.20 a.m. So I'm going to look to end it. Oh, no, I'm not. So I did have some notes today that I just wanted to share too. So, you know, when you talk about recession and people out of work, so a lot, I know there's probably millions and this doesn't really equate to much, but it's a good sign, okay? So Walmart, they're hiring 150,000 new employees as shoppers surge. Shoppers surge. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to reiterate that. And they're looking to hire them till May. So really they think May, things are going to be back to normal for everybody, okay? So, hey, I know it sucks right now. You know, things are operating half-staff, this and that. But, you know, all these busboys and people who operate on tips and servers and whoever else may be affected, you're going back to work, people, okay? You are going back to work. You're getting two checks, I believe, of 1000 or 1200 I'm not really sure of everything. I just follow that a little. But, you know, I got to clarify that myself a little bit. But, you know, and I know that doesn't pay for much. But, you know, people should have you know, maybe family or maybe someone who could help them, maybe get some government assistance, you know. It's just going to drag a little bit, but remember, stock market looks forward, not behind. So when we already saw this, the market's tanked 30% already. Now, a lot of the news, coronavirus, this, that, you got to think, is it behind us? Are things going to get better now? Odds are, they're probably going to get better, okay? So just if you're watching, and I watch CNN too, you know, and they scare the shit out of me when I'm watching that, you know? Got to turn it off, <laughs> you know, and watch other things, you know, other news outlets too, just to see. I like to watch everything just to see what everybody says, you know, and just some will scare you more than others. And right now, they're all scaring you, so don't watch it. And then Amazon, as of yesterday or the day before, they're doing 100,000 uh, new warehouse employees, okay? So... You know, that's good. You know, people are hiring in different industries and sectors. All right. So now it's 621. I'm going to end it here. You got a great day. Stay profitable. And thanks for tuning in. If you like it, subscribe, please. Share it with your friends. Let's grow this channel. Let's get this community popping. And we're going to get this thing a lot better in the future. Remember, this was just started in January 14th, 2020. Brand new channel. So uh, moving good. And let's get this popping. Have a good one, people.